Some games are just nostalgia. People bought them up when they were kids and they liked them because they were kids, even though some of them might have sucked when they first came out. In extreme cases, these games, which are liked because of nostalgia, can go for up to 40 bucks used on Amazon. I'm not even making this up. So what game are we talking about, you may ask? Well, Digimon World. Yes, the first one, the worst one, for the PS1. It sold pretty well, but it also sucked majorly and got bad reviews from critics. Why? Because it's really boring, there's no plot, and it's got about as much story of an RPG as, um, you know, Sonic. It, no, Sonic has more story than this. And you know what? This game is about as much as an RPG as Shadow the Hedgehog is a shooter game. So, how bad could this game possibly be? Let's find out. So when you first pop the game in, or every time you pop the game in, you see a CGI sequence. This CGI sequence is so short and cheesy that it seriously makes Sonic Team's CGI budget look like it's huge. I mean, like, like in Shadow and stuff, they actually put money into CGI in this. Oh, it's like they used a Pentium 1 in your mom's basement. And why are all the voices the same? It's like they couldn't hire any other voices to voice in this game. They could only hire, like, one guy, so they gave them all the lines. Seriously. Is that how cheap they are? And just look at how creepy everyone looks, because their CGI budget was lower than that of Sonic Teams, even Sonic Teams. Look, look how the guy moves. He moves like a freaking model in Gmod or something. Seriously. And then when he talks... He, he talk, everyone talks like they're in Gmod. Just look at that creepy lip movement. Yeah, I know, it's 1999, but then again, there were better games back then with CGI. And then, what the heck, I'm complaining too much. But then again, after the people, then you see another CGI sequence in the same FMV, that is. Now, what is it, you may ask? Two Digimon being the shit out of each other. This looks a lot better than the actual game is, because the actual game sadly doesn't let you do any of this. So, what the heck. Let's play the actual game. So when you actually start the game, you the first thing you'll notice is the use for a crappy font for the text. You know, like Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire where they use the Japanese font for English and it looked all weird. And there's grammar errors all over the place. They forgot to hit space half the time. And you'll just notice that. Now, let's just actually see the opening CGI, shall we? So right after you skip that fake Professor Oak scene, what do we get, of course? Another crappy CGI sequence. This one is just as bad as the last one and features, well, the only shred of plot you'll even find in this game. While this guy looks creepy and walks through with his Digimon shit that he purchased off eBay for, like, lots of money, you find out that he's in some apartment or something and... He's home alone! Hooray for cliches! And then, while well, he walks really, really slowly. I mean, seriously, he freaking walks like a Snorlax. He wakes up and... Well, look at that poorly pasted texture that says, Hey kid, I'm home alone! And he's like, Fuck, yeah, I'm gonna do some other shit, so... And then, all of a sudden, mysteriously, in pretty much every, which is pretty much the same thing as every other Digimon media, except even worse in this one, he sees his Digivice is glowing. So what does he do to it, of course? Run up and check. You know, it could be a trap, or it could be a C4, but no, I'm just gonna run up and grab it like a while looking really creepy. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Seriously, that's like a fucking anus. Oh shit. Boom. Fuck. And that's pretty much the only shred of plot you'll see in this game because there's absolutely no plot! Okay, what the fuck? So afterwards, in the world of low resolution fonts, we see, well, you're surrounded by a bunch of 
weird looking Digimon. Their their models are really low resolution. And what the heck is that sound? Is that a bunch of animals cheering or something? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like a bark party, like a bunch of dogs are like, congratulations. Seriously, who thought this was a good idea? It's like, Okay. And the whole introduction pretty much assumes you're a fucking idiot and they just tell you everything about Digimon. Now. Well, not everything because they don't tell you that much. And, um, yeah. Okay, no, it's not a dream. You're in the worst acid trip of your life and in, the sh in a piece of shit PS1 game. Just look at all those models around you. They look poorly animated. Especially with that low resolution bottom. And what the heck, this dialogue is so stupid, this dialogue. If it had been voiced, this would have been much better, but it's not voiced, so... No. Whatever, they, since they couldn't afford a proper voice actor, let's just skip to the actual shitty-ass gameplay. Hold on, I never heard them say that in the anime. Didn't they always speak English? What, this isn't Pokemon where they all say, PIKA! PIKA! This isn't Pokemon, that's, this is just stupid. I don't even get the point of this garbage. Let's get to the actual gameplay. Oh wait, it's not much better. The gameplay pretty much involves you walking around an overworld map, talking to enemies Chrono Trigger style, and then engaging in quite possibly the worst RPG combat system of all time. You can always have, at first you can only have the Digimon weapons where you can run, but the problem is, you can't pick an option taking the skill out of playing an RPG, and the fun too. Unlike other RPGs where you feel like you're in the action, this makes you feel like you're watching a video of somebody playing an RPG. That's what the gameplay is like. The only option you can do is pretty much run, which... Yeah, the gameplay just happens. And, yeah, the, I'm only talking about the battle system right now. I haven't even gotten into the worst parts yet. The whole game is pretty much a glorified virtual pet simulator. Yes, that's pretty much all this game is. It's just like a Tamagotchi you could buy at a freaking Walgreens for like 10 bucks, because that's all this game really is. And this game features, that's pretty much all the game is. There is no overworld map, just one character giving you a very vague description of what's in the game. So if you don't have game FAQs, you're pretty much, you're out of luck pretty much, because you can't do anything. And another thing, the music is either none at all, forgettable, annoying, or just, well, you'll want to, well, you just won't remember the music. It's just that bad. It's like, while lots of bad games like Sonic games happen to have decent soundtracks, this game does not. It's like, this game has a bad soundtrack, and it sucks too, so this is even worse when it comes to the thing, because at least Sonic 06 had a good soundtrack. This has a crappy soundtrack. So, let's just skip on with it. The game pretty much grinds, or you have to talk to something and it'll punch you and stuff. Or, that's really all it is. And what's the guy look like he's doing, jacking off or something? His hand movement sure looks like it. But what the heck. After you do for so long, not only will your character be tired, but he will also have to, yes, take a crap. I'm not even making this up. This is actually a mechanic. Who had the balls to put that stupid mechanic in a game, because that's just flat out stupid. Yes, I'm not even making this up. And if you don't do that, then you're then it will actually eat its own. Yeah. It's just like that one video. And yeah. You don't really need to say much. This game is just horrible. Oh yeah, and another thing I forgot to mention. The characters will die after so much, so all that hours you put into grinding will be worthless so in other words this is the most annoying rpg 2 it's like the cheap sonic of rpgs final verdict why does this garbage even exist this game not only 
is annoyingly cheap, but it also features some things that should never be in any RPG, such as, well, that one system. I'm not even going to name it because you know what it is. So yeah, in other words, why does this game even exist? This game's just trashy, and the fan base makes it think like it's the best thing since sliced bread. It's not. It's horrible. It's overrated. And if you want to know an idea on how overrated it is, look on Amazon. Yeah, that's right. 40 bucks used for this game and 200 new. That is overpriced. That is worse than Final Fantasy VII. And now on... And for like less than that game costs new, you can get like a 3DS. And or 50 bucks more, I'll get you a Vita. All in all, this game is just bad. The music sucks. The gameplay sucks. The graphics are just horrible. The graphics, I mean, the music is forgettable. The models are just bad. It features some of the worst mechanics in a game of all time. And you know what the worst part about it is? It even messes up when it comes to continuity. And also, the text sucks. It's like they just used the Japanese uh, Western font and just used it for the whole localization. That's cheap. All in all, this game blows. And thanks for watching and suggest more.